This video tutorial is about how to answer a nine-point question in the Pearson Edexcel GCSE Psychology Series. This one comes from June 2023, Paper 1, and it's Question 22. Major atrocities can reveal the most aggressive side of human behavior. Death and destruction during war and the purposeful killing of other humans have been studied in psychology to try to discover the potential causes of these acts. Unearthing the causes of such acts may enable them to be prevented in the future. Stanley Milgram conducted a series of experiments to study obedience to authority. Other researchers in psychology have investigated crowd behavior, conformity, and the bystander effect. Research such as this has enabled psychologists to understand ways to prevent blind obedience and the social and cultural issues in psychology. And the question is, assess social and cultural issues in psychology. Let's go to my whiteboard. We have the question on the left-hand side and on the right are the assessment objectives as published by edXL. A nine-point question tests all three of those objectives, and a third of the marks is allocated under each objective. Let's remind ourselves of them. Firstly, Assessment Objective 1. Demonstrate knowledge and understanding of psychological ideas, processes, and procedures. This is the most basic of the assessment outcomes. To meet it, you have to show that you know the course material. Then, Assessment Outcome 2. Apply knowledge and understanding of psychological ideas, processes, and procedures. This takes the required skill level up a notch. We're still talking about psychological ideas, processes, and procedures, but now the examiner wants to find out if you can apply that knowledge. And then assessment outcome number three, analyze and evaluate psychological information, ideas, processes, and procedures to make judgments and draw conclusions. And here, we're looking at the highest level. Notice the keywords analyze, evaluate, make judgments, and draw conclusions. So when you answer question 22 and others like it, you need to ensure that you've covered all of those outcomes if you want to do well. I've produced a model answer to this question, but before we look at it, I want to remind you that it's really important to follow the specific instruction, which is assess social and cultural issues in psychology. In this question, if you don't cover social and cultural issues as required, you won't score very well. So, always read the question very carefully and think about what it is asking you to do. Let's go back to the beginning of the question outline. The paragraph at the top gives you the background. And then the second one contains some important keywords that you need to focus on. You need to show that you understand those concepts. Obedience, including blind obedience to authority figures. Compliance, when someone goes along with a group majority, even when they privately disagree with them. And conformity when individuals align their attitudes, beliefs, and behaviors with those of a group or social norm, often due to social pressure or the desire for acceptance. And then bystander effect. You should know that bystander effect is a social phenomenon where the presence of others reduces the likelihood of an individual offering help in an emergency due to a diffusion of responsibility and possibly a fear of social judgment. Regarding this phenomenon, one of the studies you did was Piliavan et al., and you will need to reference that study in your answer. Now let's look at a possible answer. As it comes up on your screen, you'll see which assessment outcomes are covered. People often behave differently in certain situations than they would when they are alone, depending on the circumstances they encounter. For instance, an employee may follow their company's dress code even though they would prefer to dress differently. This behavior is known as compliance. 
When people are in the presence of others, they often behave differently than they would if they were alone. This phenomenon is known as conformity. For example, an individual might dress in the same style as their group of friends, even if they dislike the fashion, simply because they want to fit in with the group. Some may even become violent as an act of conformity. Consider a person who joins a peaceful protest and then ends up throwing stones at the police when the protest gets out of control. This is not something they would normally do, but when caught up in the behavior of the crowd, they conform. Both of these instances are examples of social issues in psychology. Two studies that address social and cultural issues are Stanley Milgram's electric shock experiment and the Subway Samaritans experiment by Piliarvin et al. Milgram's experiment on obedience demonstrated the powerful influence of authority figures on individual behavior. The study's findings showed that 65% of participants were prepared to administer a potentially lethal level of electric shock when the authority figure wore a uniform, compared to only 20% when the authority figure wore regular clothes. This data highlights the impact of social roles and symbols of authority on our actions, and it may help in understanding how individuals can be led to commit harmful acts under the guise of following orders, as seen in historical events like the Holocaust. Piliarvin's study on the bystander effect shows how social and cultural factors affect whether people are likely to help others. The study discovered that white helpers helped 68% of white victims, but only 50% of black victims. This information highlights how people are more likely to help others who are similar ethnically or culturally to themselves. It also shows the importance of encouraging communities where everyone supports and includes each other. In conclusion, issues related to society and culture in psychology are closely connected to how we understand obedience compliance, conformity, and bystander intervention. By studying these ideas, psychologists can learn more about what influences the ways in which people behave in social situations and develop strategies to tackle challenges in society. Hope you found that useful.